Hello everybody, thank you for joining us today. My name is Renum and today we're going to be looking at count rate versus activity. So we really only have one learning objective for this video, which is to understand the difference between count rate and activity. So if you're ready, let's get right into it. Okay, so I have a really common setup in schools for investigating radiation. So I have a couple of new pieces of apparatus here, so let's label them. So this little cylinder right here is called a Geiger Muller tube. Uh, tube, not tube, but a tube, and this uh, big machine behind it is called a counter. Okay, so these two machines used together are what we use to measure. Sorry, so let's write used to detect. So that's the job of the tube, right? The tube actually does the detecting of radiation, used to detect and measure, which is the job of the counter, the uh, radioactive activity from the source. Okay, and our source is this little thing over here. So that is our source. So our source it really just houses houses the radioactive material. Okay, but there's a, a big distinction between count rate and activity. So uh, it's kind of in the name. Count rate is probably shown by the counter, but the activity has to do with the source. So let's define these two words and very carefully because you have to be aware of the differences between them. So activity is actually the, actually, let's just do it here, the number of decays uh, second okay so activity actually talks about how many nucleuses inside the source of itself so whatever element that is are actually decaying so remember uh, decay means to uh, go uh, go from an unstable state to a stable state by releasing some radioactive uh, particles right so either alpha beta alpha beta or gamma but whereas count rate tells you how many radioactive particles were detected detected being the very key word here because if your activity uh which is measured in becquerels measured in becquerels right so that has this uh, symbol bq if your activity in becquerels is say 15 becquerels so that would mean 15 nucleuses decay every second your count rate in a perfect world should also be 15 uh, becquerels for that one second but when we don't live in a perfect world we always have some kind of uncertainty so the count rate is pretty much always um different to the actual activity of the source itself and that's got to do with not only background radiation which is something that i'm going to cover in another topic but also because the source doesn't always send out all of this radiation directly into the tube the radiation can also miss the tube it might go here it might go here it might even just go back into the housing itself all right so the activity and the count rate are separate things that you need to be aware of okay so if you understand this well done you now understand the difference between Count rate and activity.